गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग मोहम्मद अभी कहा गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग सर अगेन लेट अभी कहा नौगत बहुत अब गया लेट सर सर देर वाज अ नेटवर्क इश्यू सो इट वाज नॉट जॉइन जॉइनिंग ओके एंड नौगत व्हाट हैपेंड टू यू सर आई वाज जॉइनिंग द मीटिंग इट वाज नॉट हैपेनिंग स्लो 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 टेल मी स्लोली व्हाट हैपेंड गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग ग्लोरी शिवाज लेट You promised to be punctual. Uh, Jay, good evening. Jay, good evening. रुक जा गुड इवनिंग सर लेट सर आई हैव गोन फॉर ट्यूशन आई हैव गोन फॉर ट्यूशन और आई हैड गोन फॉर ट्यूशन आई हैड गोन फॉर ट्यूशन या यू आर अ हार्ड वर्किंग बॉय Just returning from tuition, and now you are joining this session. But why? I don't know why you need to go for tuition. You are a smart boy. Okay, today we'll be doing. We'll try to cover two activities. One, we'll be learning these words. These are the words with similar spelling, similar spelling, not same. Remember, there's a difference between similar and same. Same means everything is same. Little same. Similar means they're not same, but they look same. So these are similar words, similar spelling, similar pronunciation, but the meanings are different. What happens many a times? We are confused when it comes to the spelling. We normally don't remember the spelling. So how do we remember spelling of such words? I have just taken four to five words. That's four words today. Right? We learn more. So, how do we remember these words? The spelling. So, the first one is course. The second one is course. Both sound, both, both sound same. So, Abhika, what is the meaning of? Course, C O A R C S E. So can I think for one minute? Yeah, I yeah, think better. Shivaj, what is the meaning of course and course? Excuse me, sir. He's in the washroom. Oh no, no problem, no problem. Okay. Agar, can you tell me what, about course yes, and course meaning? What is the meaning of course and course? What is sir, the difference between? Yes. Of course, in course it is like a race course like that, and course is of course. Of course, no, that is not of course. No, J. What is the difference between course and course? The course and course. Yeah. What is this course? You know, you know the course. You know the you are going through a course, right? 
you're learning a course, right? Yes or no? A program. A, something from which you learn. It is a course. I'm doing a computer course. Something that which you learn is called course. Yes. And the first one, course, what is this course? Rough. It is a surface. It may be rough. It is. So how we remember the spelling over here? Very simple. When we talk about, because sometimes we tend to forget that what is spelling of this, what is spelling of this. We get confused. So whenever you talk about your course, your English course, computer course, communication course, <clears throat> always remember, you should not get confused with the spelling because over here, there's one you. And you means you are taking the course. You are learning. So whenever someone says write the spelling of course, you must remember, okay, that I'm learning. You, you are learning. So remember this you to remember the spelling course. Now, whenever you get confused between race and race, race, when you're running a race, race to raise your hand. So remember this I, I is like a hand. I raise my hand. So this is spelling of race. Whenever I try, I forget the spelling of race or I get confused between race and race. And if someone says, write the spelling of race, which means to lift something up, then remember, okay, in race, there's one I, which is like my hand. I'm raising my hand. So these are some of the techniques to differentiate the two words. What is the, okay, Ayan, what is the difference between loose and loose? Both the pronunciation but, are loose. So yes. loose means lost and loose, uh, and uh, second loose is a... Uh... Um, is used in sometimes in weights. Sometimes in weights. Okay, you are right, but not exactly right. Abhika, what is the difference between loose and loose? So the loose is that. So I cannot explain it, but I know it. <laughs> Give me a sentence. Give me a sentence with my, each. My shirt is very loose. Okay. Which one, which one is this one? The first one or second one? So second one. Okay. And give me an example of the first one. So I don't know the first one. Okay, no problem. Aditya, what is the difference between loose and loose? So loose means uh, lost. And ma'am, sir, the second one is uh, loose means uh, something that is uh, very untightable. Untightable? Kuch bhi bolte ho. Apne English le aate ho. <laughs> what, what is this? What, oh, untightable, you said, right? Yes. Uh, let's find a word untitled. I don't know. Maybe there's something I, I, I've not heard. Maybe I learned today. Let's see. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. <clears throat> not necessarily that I know so everything. Can I say again? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm coming. First, let me check what, what Aditya has said. Untitled. I Can you find this word? Untitable? Aditya? Yes, sir. Is there any word untitable? No, sir. From, from, from where do you find this word untitable? So tell me, from where do you find this word untitable? Is it is it your own word? No, sir. <laughs> Good, good, at least you tried. But there's no word for untitled. Okay, I was also wondering. So it's good. Okay, you tried. And lose is not lost. 
<coughs> lost in the past tense of lose. Okay? Lose it means something like disappear, invisible, or to move away from you. That is lose. And lose here means something which is not tight or beyond your measurement. Beyond your, it's, it's not fitting you. Something which doesn't fit you is loose. Now, do you often get confused with these when you're writing the two spelling? Do you often get confused between loose and loose? Ayan, do you often get confused when you write the two spelling loose and loose? So sometimes. Yeah, so how to remember which is the right spelling to write? Sir, in loose there is single O and in loose there is double O. How will you remember the single O or double O? Many a time, I don't remember. Okay, single O or double O. Then how do I remember? So they both have different definitions. No, no, no. Sometimes what happens, my teacher said, okay, write down a dictation. My shirt is very loose. How do you remember the spelling that I have to use double O or single O? Sir, the second loose is uh, has a long pronunciation in uh, O. No, the first one doesn't. Have, the first one is not called loose, and second is not loose. No, both are loose. But then, how do you remember the spelling that? When I'm writing my shirt is not my shirt is loose, I have to remember the it's double O and not O. Aditya, how will you remember? How will you remember the spelling? Who has joined in the name of Preeti Singh? Who has logged in with the name of Preeti Singh? Yes. Okay. That's Shivansh. Shivansh? Yes, sir. How do you... How will you remember the spelling of lose and lose? Okay. Let me tell you. How you remember? Here, if you see lose, lose, you should remember that is giving me more space. Double O, the single O. Double O, it means it's, it's giving me more space. More space means when I'm wearing a shirt, and I'm wearing a trouser, it's very loose, it's giving me more space. It's taking more space, right? So that's how I remember loose. That it's giving me more space. Double O means it's taking more space. That's how it, see, there are just a ways to remember. Yes, Shivaj? Yes, sir. You said you are raising your hand? No, sir. Okay, no problem. Now, the last one is desert and desert. How do you how do you pronounce the two words? Avika, how do you pronounce the two words? So first one desert. Yeah. And second one desert. Yes. The first one is desert. The second one is desert. Piska. Science. Yes, sir. On design. Silver. Silver. She wants to go on mute. She wants to go on mute. Where is it? The first one has a stress on D. First one. Second one is desert on, on S. Desert. The first one is desert. The second one is yes. desert. So now, yes. August, what is the meaning of first desert? First word, desert. Desert is the word so that is that is very hot. That desert is, that has cactus and camel. The place desert. Okay. And what is the second word, desert? Sir, pastry. 
Sorry. Sir, the second one is page three. Okay. Now, how will you remember the spelling? If someone says, "Okay, Augur, do you do you eat dessert?" You say yes. Okay, write on the spelling of dessert. How will you remember whether I have to put double s or single s? How do you remember? Sir, I will remember because sir said first that do you eat dessert? Sir said eat. Sir said did you sir did say did you see? So I will put double s. No, no, no. If I say, but think is how do you remember that is double s or single s? Many a times we don't remember whether single s or double s. So it's very simple to remember. Dessert which, which we eat, it, it, it we have double s. I I remember this by saying you know, sweet sweet, or sweet serving, sweet serving. So my double s it says sweet sweet. That's how I remember and when I when I'm talking about the sweet. When I'm talking about the pastry, I remember sweet sweet. So when I say sweet sweet, it means it's there double s. That's how we remember. These are the old ways of remembering, old tricks of remembering, of spelling. Now, these are words with similar meaning. The meaning is quite similar to each other, but not the same. Sir, cut and chop. Sir, the cut one is to cut the paper and chop chopping trees. No. <clears throat> Hold on, don't, don't talk out of turn. If I don't ask you, please don't answer. Wait for your turn. Aditya, what is the meaning of cut? And what is the meaning of chop? So the meaning of cut is that we are cutting vegetables and chop is the same. So what is the difference? That's what I'm asking you. There's a difference in the meaning. Both have similar meaning, but not the same meaning. So what is the difference between cut and chop? I'm cutting the vegetables. I'm chopping the onion. I'm chopping the coriander leaves. I'm cutting banana. I'm cutting apple. So what is the difference between cut and chop? Sarvika, what is the difference between cut and chop? Sanvika is attending all the sessions. She comes for intermediate also. She comes for basic also. Jay, what is the difference between cut and chop it up? Sir, cut means to cut the vegetable and chop means chop the fruits. Ah, <laughs> who, 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 good one, good try. Okay, that's what I want you to try. And that, that's very good. At least you try. No problem. You may not always be right. I'm also not always right. I'm also learning with you. So what? But something, I maybe say something, you know, it makes me laugh also. And that's good. Uh, Shivansh, what is the difference between cut and chop? Sir, cut means... That we cut anything like vegetables. Yes. And chop means the we chop the things like fruits. But what are you wearing? You how I how, I can see a goggle on your face. Okay. Which one is this? Aditya? Yes, sir. Now give me uh, give me the difference between cut and chop. Let me let me hear your uh, meaning, but don't say untypeable. <laughs> yes, sir. Here of cut and chop. Yeah. Sir, cut is the cutting the vegetables and the difference between chop is chopping the vegetables. 
I'm yes, chopping yes. the onions. I'm chopping that. Yeah, so what is the difference? <coughs> you are saying both are cutting. What is the difference? Okay. You can ask your mother <coughs> when she's cutting the vegetable. Maybe she's cutting to four to five pieces. But when she's chopping the onion, <coughs> onion, when she's chopping to very small pieces, there are many, many pieces. When she's chopping the coriander, she's cutting into many, 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 many pieces. Very small, small pieces. So when you're cutting something into small pieces, many small pieces, very thin pieces, that's chopping. When you're cutting something, you're cutting into big pieces. Like when you're cutting vegetables, that's cutting vegetables. But when you're cutting coriander, when you're, you know, when you're cutting some ginger, when you're cutting the onion, that's called chopping. You go fat, 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 you, you cut fast. And you do very small pieces. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Jay, is this clear? Yes, sir. Sharmika, is this clear? Shivash, Shivash, is this clear? Yes, sir. Very good. August, is this clear? Yes, sir. Ayan, clear, Rita? Yes, sir. Okay. Don't know, Jijan. Next, next one. Lend and borrow. What is the difference between lend and borrow? Lend some money, borrow some money. Sarvika, what is the difference between lend and borrow? Mm. Lend some money, borrow some money. Uh, lend some money, borrow some money. Aditya, what is the difference between lend and borrow? So borrow means I'm... Uh, um... So borrowing, bo borrow means I'm borrowing someone, I'm taking something from others. Okay. And lend? Sir, I don't know. Okay. No problem. August, what is the difference between lend and borrow? Sir, lend. Sir, lend means give. Borrow also means give. Both, both things give them. What is the difference? Adit, sorry. Shivansh, tell me the difference between lend and borrow. Sir, I don't know. Okay. Ayan. Ayan? Sir, I think borrow means taking something from a person and lend means took something from a person. So both, both are sounding the same. Abhika, what is the difference between lend and borrow? So borrow means that uh, we are taking something to anyone or anywhere and lend means I don't know. So. No problem. That is why you people at the intermediate level. So you your learning becomes difficult now. So lend means when someone is lending you. Let's say you are in trouble. And certainly you are running short of money. And I'm with you. I'm a friend of yours. I say, okay, lend me, you know, lend me some money to you. It means I'm giving you money myself to help you which you are supposed to return later on. Borrow is when you are asking me, can you borrow me some money? Can I borrow some money from you? So, can you lend me? Lend me, borrow me, I'm asking you. Lend me, someone is giving you. So borrow, it means I'm asking you for money, which I have to return. Lend me, someone is giving you. 
Can you lend me some money? You're asking the one. Borrow, I want to borrow some money from you. So this is the only difference. It's both about borrowing money. Rob and steal. August, what is the difference between rob and steal? Sir, rob means that when he is taking, when he was taking your money. <laughs> and sir, steal, I, I have heard of some, that steal is like that he stole my money in the night. Your, your voice is not very clear, right now. You, you please come closer to the mic and come on video. I want to see your video. August, come on video. Yes. Now speak slowly. Sir Rob, Sir Rob means that when that when he is stealing something, and steal means when. When that person is slowly and trying to I am I am mute. I am on mute. Okay, Avika, what is the difference between rob and steal? Sorry, sir, but I don't know. What happened to you? You are giving me too many. No, 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 no. You have to try. Even if you give me the wrong answer, it's okay. But I want you to try. Don't pass all the answers. Shivanj, what is the difference between rob and steal? He was robbed. He was robbed on the highway. My mobile phone Stop. was stolen. Or I don't know how did he steal the mobile phone. What is the difference between rob and steal? Sir, I got it. Hold on, hold on. Now you will not speak out of turn, beta. Wait, wait. Shivansh? Jay? Rob, rob means like that thief, thief to. Sir, sir, wrong means something like to do. Okay. And steal? Sir, they means to do something. Both to do something. Aditya. Yes, sir. Aditya. Yes, what sir. is the difference between rob and steal? Sir, rob a thief have robbed, and sir steal. Sir steal that is. That is someone has steal something from us. There's nothing known as steal, beta. There's nothing known as steal. It is steal, stole, stolen. Okay? Not, nothing known as steal. Okay, yes, let sir. me tell you. Rob means, let's say you're going on a road, you're going on a highway, you're going on an expressway, and, and you see four robbers taking away your phone and everything forcefully. It means when robbery is done, when someone is robbing you, he is robbing you, he is taking away your things in front of you, in your presence, forcefully. Stealing is when you lose something, you don't know who has taken it. Someone steals something without your knowledge. You don't that is stealing. Robbing is when someone is forcefully taking away your mobile phone. So robbing is like chinna or stealing is like churana. Is this clear? Okay. Sir, I want to say that even steal has two homophones. Sir, one S T E L that Sir, that stealing. And second, the steel, the metal. Yeah, no, I'm talking about the steel. S T E A L. Okay. Abhika, is it clear, Vita? Yes, sir. Sanvika, 
Is this clear? Yes, sir. J? Yes, sir. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, Shivansh, is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, Ayan? Yes, sir. Very good. Just hold on. Now, the next one is hear and listen. Sorry. What is the difference? Hold on. Augur, please don't speak out of turn. I will ask everyone. Okay, sir. Yeah. Aditya, what is the difference between hear and listen? Sir, the meaning of listen is that we are listening something, and the, sir, the meaning of hear is. Sir, the, hear, the meaning of hear is the same only, sir. Everything is same, huh? Aditya, very good. Devi, sir, huh? There's a little difference. Sir, I'll tell you. Our Abhika, what is the difference between hear and listen? So listen means to listen and anyone talks and uh, hear means hearing anything. Okay, very good. Jay, what is the difference between hear and listen? So hear means to listen something that is going on and uh, listen, listen means to hear something. To Listening yes, to the music. Okay. No. Sanvika, what is the difference between the two? Uh, listening mm, to someone is talking that we listen and hearing mm, hearing means some mm, some mm. no problem no problem good try I don't know August sir here is when you are trying it's when you are trying to hear something we use here mostly you say that can you hear me and listen sir we say listen can you listen this music like this, I today I listened that he was speaking something. Okay, good try. She wants try. Yes, sir. Try the difference between hear and listen. Difference between hear and listen. Listen anything that and that and that someone is do, uh, talking. Okay, all of you could try. Let me tell you. Hear means you hear anything, any sound. Okay, I say okay. Hear this. Hear this. this hear the sound of cracker. Hear the sound of bell. Listen means when you are hearing something with a lot of attention. You are listening to a music. It means you are hearing the music with a lot of attention. You are hearing to the story narrated by, you are listening to a story narrated by your friend. It means you are listening, you are hearing something with a lot of attention. So when you are putting some attention to some sound, that is listening. Hearing is, is a common thing you are hearing. I am hearing the sound. I'm hearing the sound of cracker. Okay. See, watch, and look. What are the what are the what are the differences between see, watch, and look? Avika, 
What is the difference between C? A difference amongst C, watch and look. Like we, I have seen a dog. Uh, I have seen that dog. And watch means that I have watched a movie. And look means today I'm looking good. मैं मैं पूछी थी क्वेश्चन आंसर आपसे टाइम वाले में सो गुड ट्राई अविका यू क्वाइट राइट नॉट बट नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट राइट बट गुड ट्राई ऑगस्ट मी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सी वॉच एंड लुक Can you see that? And watch. Sorry, he is watching the phone. And look, look over there. Look in front. Look what is man is doing. Yeah, I know what you're saying. You're right. I want to understand the meaning. I want to understand the differences. What you're telling me are the sentences. That is fine. What you're saying is right. But I want to understand the difference. Sorry, but you can't do it. Sir, the C means that is to see somewhere. And what means that watching phone? And I am. Look, I am. Look, sir, I think C means to notice or become aware of someone or something. And uh, look means to uh, direct your eyes in a particular direction, which which means to look at. Uh, Something or someone, and watch. Uh, and I think watch means to look at someone or something for an amount of time. Okay, that's good. So C is normal thing. You know, you are looking at someone or you are seeing something. You are you are using your eyes, just your eyes to see something. I'm seeing the door. I'm seeing him. Watches when you are seeing something carefully, attentively. I'm watching a match. I'm watching a movie. You're you're seeing that movie with a lot of attention in detail. That is like watch. Look is when you are taking your eyes to see something, or if your eyes are pointing to something, look at the board. It is telling your eyes to look at a particular thing, to see something, something particular. That is the meaning of look. Anyway, revise this. There will be many more such words which you need to practice, which you need to learn, so that your English improves, especially when you are writing. So now we'll be going to the reading part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can I read? A letter. Okay, Jay, read this passage. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait for clear instruction, beta. Don't rush. Wait for your. Mentor, wait for your coach to give you complete instruction. Only then you should start your. You uh, should start answering your questions. Read the paragraph, and then I will ask you these six questions, five questions, and you have to answer them. Okay, read the paragraph. Jay, unmute. You're on mute. Yes, sir. Read the read the passage. Anita, Anita okay. school organized a field trip to to the zoo. Anita was excited Hold to on. the various Hold on. various. Hold on. Anita school organized a field trip to the zoo. No, what has happened to the reading? The other Anita, day. Full field trip to the zoo. 
No. Anita School organized a field trip to the zoo. Read with complete flow. Our flow break kar rahe ho. Anita, okay. Anita's school organized a field trip to the zoo. Oh, to the zoo. Kyo? Why you say to the zoo? Organize a field trip to the zoo. Organizing field trip to the zoo. Read ahead. Go ahead. Anita was excited to see various animals up close as they were entire. No, 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 no. JJ, what has happened to you today? You are not at all reading properly. As they entered, entered the zoo, as they entered the zoo, she was amazed by the sight of roaring lions and dancing people. What happened to you, Coach? It's not breakthrough because you're reading kar rahe The other day, you're reading much better. And this happened because you don't practice. You're not sending me any paragraph where you're reading. If you go with this pace, I will move you back to the basic. Read again. Okay, sir. An entire school board. An entire school was organized. Organized, organized yeah. a free trip to the zoo. Anita was excited to see various animals up close as they entered the zoo. Entire, it's, no, it's entered the zoo. As entered they entered the zoo. zoo. She was amazed by the sight of an entire tech details of no, each. No sight of roaring lions and dancing peacocks. Sight of roaring lions and dancing peacocks. Anita kept her eyes wide open, observing the intricate details. The, the intricate or the intricate? The intricate details. The or of the? Each Hold on, animal. Jay. Hold on, Jay. The intricate or the intricate? The intricate. Why the? Why not the? It starts with uh, intricate, intricate. Starts with the vowel. Indicate. No, is it the intricate or the intricate? Is it is is it is in D? Read D in, indicate. D indicate details of each animals. Each animal. She learned about her habits, their, diet, habit, their habitats, habitats, diets, and behaviors from the zookeepers before zoo leaving. Zookeepers. Zookeepers before leaving, Anita promised regularly to keep learning about wildlife. Okay, but Jay, you have to improve your reading a lot because you're not reading paragraph, you're not sending it to me. Okay, your reading is not improving better. Yeah. Now, Avika, read the paragraph, read the passage. Yes, sir. Anita school organized a field trip to the zoo. No, no. Field trip, better field. Field, it's not file. Field. Okay, sir. Anita school organized a field trip to the zoo. Anita was excited to see various animals up close. As they entered the zoo, she was amazed by the sight of roaring lions and dancing peacocks. Anita kept her eyes wide open, 
absorbing the inadequate details of each element. She learned about their habits, diets, no, and... No, no. It's not habits. It's habitats. Habitats. Sorry, sir. She learned about their habitats, diets, and behaviors from the zookeeper. Before leaving, Anita promised to visit the zoo regularly to keep learning about wildlife. Okay. Today, now... We will be learning how to answer the questions from the passage. So the first question is, and you have to give me proper answer. Where did Anita's school organize a field trip? Ayan. Sir, Anita's school organized a field trip to the zoo. Okay. What excited Anita about the trip? Sandika, what excited Anita about the trip? Sir, Anita was excited no, to no. see Babe. No, 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 not you. Sanvika. Ami Amita was excited to see various animals up close. Very good. What animals did Anita see at the zoo? Jay. Yes, sir. What animals did Anita see at the zoo? Sir, Anita, see no. lions. Anita, whenever we say what animal did Anita see in the zoo, you have to say Anita, Anita saw. See. No, not see. Anita. Hold on. Anita, Anita saw. saw. Anita saw animals in zoo. They are lions. Are. Lions. They. Okay. What and do you say? Lions and peacocks. No, they're not lions, Mita. They're lions. They are lions and peacocks. Yes. Repeat with me. Anita saw. Anita saw. Roaring lions. Roaring lions. And dancing peacocks. And dancing peacocks. Aditya, how did Anita observe the animals? Aditya? Sir? How did Anita observe the animals? The Anita absorbed the, the animals. The, the, the Anita? Where is the Anita? Sir, the no. Sorry? Sir, sorry, sir. Yeah. Anita promised. Sorry, sir. Sir, the question was this only, right? How did Anita absorb the animals? Yes. Absor absorb the animals. Yes. Anita absorbed the animals. Not absorb, beta. Hold on. Kuch bhi bolte ho. Is it absorbed? Is it observed? Observe. Then why is he absorbed? Be careful for detail. Aap aram se, beta. Bidar udar idar udar dekhte rakte ho. Be properly, be careful. That is why your answers are going wrong. Anita observed the animals with her eyes wide open. Or Anita observed the animal. Tell me, okay, give the answer. How did Anita observe the animals? Anita observed the animals. What is wrong with you, Aditya? I'm saying it's not absorbed, it's observed. You're going on reading absorbed. Absorbed. It is observed, not absorbed. Uh, observed. Ob Anita, observe the animals. Oh. Say, Anita, observe the animals. You're on mute. Anita absorbed the animal. Not absorbed. Ab sir, Anita absorbed the animal. No, no, not absorbed. It's observed. It's observed. Absorbed. 
and it absorbs the again, again, again you're saying absorb i'm saying absorb absorb again you are on mute say absorb absorb yes anita observe the animals anita absorb the not animals absorb. it's not absorb observe Observe. observe. Say observe. Observe. Yes. Anita, observe the animals. Anita, uh, observe the animals by learning their habits, diet, and behavior. Okay. Then. From the zookeepers. Oh, good. <clears throat> What promise did Anita make before leaving the zoo? Sir, before leaving, Anita promised to visit the zoo regularly to mm -hmm. keep learning about wild life. Okay. Ayan, what animals did Anita yes, see at the zoo? Sir, Anita saw the roaring lions and dancing peacocks. Okay. Okay, um, next will be Sanvika. What promise did Anita make before leaving the zoo? Before leaving the zoo, Anita promised to visit the zoo regularly to keep learning about wildlife. Okay, good. So everybody has answered something, Shivansh? Shivansh? You're not paying. Shivansh, you're not paying attention today. How, what animals did Anita see at the zoo? Sir, I didn't get a chance. I know, you are... You are supposed to be there at the next session, Veda, 8 to 9. I have not yet shifted you to the session. You are supposed to be in the session from 8 o'clock. Okay? I have not shifted you to the intermediate level. So anyway, you stay here, no problem. That's why I'm not, that's why I'm not asking you this question. This is, the, this is the intermediate level. You, you will be meeting me at 8. Okay, Rivaj? So, Shivaj, are you there, Shivaj? Shivaj, are you there? Aditya, give me this answer. What animals did Anita see at the zoo? Anita sees... Roaring Anita, Anita saw when we say Anita, yeah. Anita saws Anita saw roaring roaring lions and dancing peacocks. Not lions. The... It's not lions. It's lions. Lions. Yeah, it's not it's not lions. It is lions. Roaring lions. Roaring lions. Yeah, roaring lions. Okay, sir. So read again. Anita saw. Anita saw roaring lions. Not lions. lions. Yeah, not sir, lions. Lions, yeah. And, and dancing, the, dancing peacocks. And dancing peacock at the zoo. Okay. Fine. So today, once I upload the video, you can continue to read. Continue to learn the words and please keep watching the video next time if you're absent. If you're coming, I will not allow you to watch the video. Read the paragraph, you know, keep sending it to me for feedback. I'm not seeing you guys, I'm not seeing you kids sending me the feedback, your recorded voice. Fine, good night, take care and we'll meet on Thursday. Okay?
बाय सर बाय सर बाय सर गुड नाइट सर गुड नाइट बेटा गुड नाइट सर हैव अ स्वीट ड्रीम बाय बाय